Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you guys another album. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like it's taking long for me to make these albums. I mean, it takes me, um, it does take me some time, but it's just I get to craft all day, especially since I've had this week off from work. So I've been crafting literally like all day, even if it takes me a few days. Um, it's been worth it and I love making albums. So I wanted to show you guys this album that I made and this one already has a home um, so it's not for sale anymore. I mean it already has a home. It's going somewhere. Um, but I used this paper collection called Simple Life by Jen Hatfield and so I used this but this didn't have any bigger cut aparts so then I also used the Heart and Home collection by Jen Hatfield as well. And I thought they went well together. So I'll show you guys um, where I use that and everything. But let me show you guys the scrappies that I have left. And in case you guys are also interested in making one of these albums, I'm going to have the tutorial that I followed down below as well as um, the waterfall element I included in here and then everything else I kind of just figured out myself. Um, so there, I didn't follow a tutorial on that or anything so I can't link those things but I'll try to remember to show you guys what um, I made myself and what I followed a tutorial on. So um, this is what I have left from the collection. I have these two sheets. Oops, I missed one. I have this sheet right here, and these are super small guys, but wait till you guys see the next page, they're even smaller. But these have cute little um, sentiments. If you guys have any idea of what I could do with these, please let me know. I was thinking of making little teeny note cards and sticking these onto those, um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then there's this one. Look how small these are. It's like almost the size of my thumb. So I have no idea what to do with these, but let me know if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on what I could do with these teeny tiny cut aparts. I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Um, so I had those two sheets left, and then I also have these scrappies. I don't feel like I have a lot of scraps. Here's some um, strips that I have, and that's it there. And then here are these scrappies. So I really don't have that many scraps. This is the biggest one right there. Um, I really don't have that many though. I will show you how I used some of the scraps in the album. So I'll talk about that. But then I also did use the one piece of paper that I had left here. Used a scrap. And then this cut apart is from the Heart and Home collection. And it says, look for blessings everywhere. So that's from the heart and home. And I'm just including this to go out in the mail with the person that purchased this album. So it just looks like this. And it was cute. I just used scraps. Okay, so let me put that aside and let me show you guys the album. So this is what the album looks like here. I have another cut apart from the heart and home collection. That's not from this Simple Life collection. It's from the heart and home by Jen Hadfield. Here I have some flowers, and you guys can see I did some stitching around here. I backed it with gold. So the base of my album is pink um, for the album and the pages. Then I have the gold layer, and then I have the 6 by 6 sheet of paper here. I took apart another 6 by 6 and I did like 1 inch here. Um, this is like one and a half inch, and then I have another inch, so it kind of like frames the outside here. And if you guys could see the seam binding, I have that seam binding going through the album so that you have like a cute little um, tie-in closure here. And in case you guys want to get some cutesy seam binding for yourself, this is from my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. And I will have her linked down below. Um, anyway, so back to the flowers because that's what I was talking about. So these white flowers, these I actually made myself and they got little like crinklies in them and I added some jemmies and I have little leaves behind them. And then the pink flower is a prima flower. And you guys see I did the stitching and everything. Anyway, so then when you open this up, 
just untie that and then this is what it looks like on the inside so here i don't know if you guys could see this white paper this was not from the collection this was just like an individual sheet that i purchased from hobby lobby it was an eight and a half by 11 size so i used it for two of these and then i also used it on the back here for that part and it just kind of kept it like cohesive and the same um because otherwise i wouldn't have had enough paper um but anyway here i did add some trim and it's like this off-white color but i thought it goes so well with this collection because this collection looks more vintagey to me then there's this little cut apart that was in the collection in the simple life one and it says kind words are free and I added another one underneath here and it says love each other. And this I actually did because I originally forgot to add a magnet under this paper before I glued that down. So I had to have one matching here and I have a magnet under this little cut apart. So that just um, folds closed. Anyway, so these flip out as like a waterfall and they just go like that. And you could add photos to the back, you could add photos here. So there's that. Then there's this one that has this pocket. Oh, and this is an element that was not in a tutorial. And this was not in a tutorial either. This, this is what I'm showing you right now. So here you have a pullout piece. So this is a cut apart from the Heart and Home collection. And this kind of just keeps this closed so that these other pieces don't open up. But it's a cute little cut apart that says home is not a place. It's a feeling. And it's gold foiled and then you could add journaling on the back or you could add a three by four photo and these ones are four by six photos here um once you take that out you're able to open up these two and these you could put another three by four photo and you could also put more stuff in the pocket as well but i just have it just like that just to keep it closed then this this next part this is all in like that tutorial by lms crafty creations for pretty much the base of the album so here you have a four by six photo this i just added in and this is another cut apart from the heart and home collection got some jemmies on there as well and then it says collect moments not things and then another four by six photo here and a four by six photo here as well you open this up here you have another 4x6 photo, here you have a 4x4, three 2x3 three photos, and then another 4x6 photo. And I tried to kind of like make these matching on these things and I kind of did that throughout the album. Then you have a pull out tab. This is what it looks like and I just did some gold foiled um, divider tab pieces. And that just slides right back in there. Then you turn this and you have this page. Here's a pocket and here I used cut aparts and a cut apart tag from the Heart and Home collection. So it says Grateful Heart and Celebrate Together. I put some heart eyelets in here but you can't really tell it's a heart. And then here I used some more of that seam binding. I had some scraps of some seam binding so I just I used it on these tags. And then this is the pocket right here. And those just live in here then you flip this open and again like i said i tried to make these the same here you have a four by five photo and then a four by four photo here then you close that here you have two three by four photos i have another vellum pocket like i did in my last um album in the valentine's day one that you guys saw and it's a different kind of um printed vellum this time I still have the pink velcro but this time I stitched on it just in case I didn't want it to come apart and I also added in some trim here but you could fit in a whole bunch of goodies in here so that's always fun and then I also have trim on this side as well two more three by four photos go here then you have this four by six photo and here's some of those like cut aparts that I just used here I just thought they were cute. So smile every day. I appreciate you more and more. Home, make memories, never give up. Work hard, forgive, never grow up. And today is your day. Um, here we have two three by four photos. Then this opens and you have a four by four photo. This part opens this way, flips out. 
You have a four by six photo. Actually, these are all four by six photos. So you have two portrait, one landscape right here. You have another pull out tab right here. This is the front and the back side is like this wood panel grain thing. I think it's pretty. Then you have another four by six photo here. And then here, this repeats again with another pocket. And again, we have a cut apart from the Heart and Home collection and another, and another tag. And this one says, together is my favorite place to be. And this one says, gather. And again, I use some seam binding here. So guys, check out my scrap cabin shop if you need seam binding. I get all of my seam binding from Erin um, from my scrap cabin shop. Then here you have three two by three photos and then you have a three by four photo here. And that closes and then you got the next page. You got another four by six photo and then my acetate page. And I just did some hearts here. I didn't know what else to do with this collection. Um, I wanted to do some flowers, but you wouldn't really have seen that it was a flower. So I just decided to go with some hearts and I added some pom-pom trim here. And that's what that looks like. Now this page right here in this element is a tutorial from Rosa Kelly. So I'm going to have that linked down below as well. If you guys want to know how to do this pull down waterfall, but that's what this looks like. It's so fun. And these are yellow. I don't know why they're coming up green. Um, I mean, they have like some green glitter in it, but anyway, so that's a pull down waterfall. I love making these and I include them in every single album. It's just so fun. Then you have two four by six photos here. You turn that page, you have a four by four photo. Then that opens up again. You have a three by four, two more three by fours and a four by six photo. Then you have another pullout tab, and these are the patterns on this one. And then you have a four by six photo. Here's your pocket again. Again, more seam binding. I was just using some scraps. Here you have a tag that says happy day, and then a cut apart that's backed on pink that says love grows here. And again, you could add journaling on the back. You could add photos. However, um, the person that's getting this wants to do that. And here you have a four by five photo. I did include one of these little cut aparts from the collection here. It's not glued down completely, so you could still stick a photo um, behind that. So you could fill that four by five photo map. And then here you have a three by four photo, but this is so cute. It says, nothing brings people together like good food. Super cute. So then you have the next page and this I was just figuring out on my own again. Um, no tutorial on this, but this is a, um, a gatefold. And if you guys want to find out how to do a gatefold, just type in gatefold on YouTube. But I didn't find, I didn't follow a specific tutorial. I was just kind of sizing my own paper and figuring it out. But there's another cut apart from this um, collection, the Simple Life collection by Jen Hadfield. And this one says, plant smiles, grow laughter, and harvest to love. And it's got this beautiful like flower paper. And this is magnetized. So you open this up. And I thought this inside was very fitting. And it's got a flower. And I just thought it goes so well with this um, quote right there. So that, I thought that was super cute. Then here, I paper pieced a whole bunch of pieces together using scraps. So I had two strips here and then I had these little teeny strips, which I ended up filling in those gaps here that, that these were little, this was like one little teeny strip. So I cut it up, I put it there and these were two longer strips. And then I used another cut apart that says, keep life simple, but you'd never know that I was paper piecing it together. And I think it worked out really well. Um, here in the back is that white paper that I told you guys I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I used some scraps that I had, like the bigger scraps, and I made some cards to go in here. Um, so here's a four by four, and it says memories are best when shared. There's some wood grain paper, polka dot paper, and some jemmies. And then this fits a four by four photo. You could journal, you could add a photo, um, or add two photos. And then this one is a four by six. Again, I used some scraps. I had this big scrap right here. I had a strip here and a little strip of that wood grain. 
And then I just added a cut apart that says, let's stay home. And I added some jemmies and this will hold a four by six photo or two photos, or you could do journaling and a photo. Um, however, the person is going to do it that gets this. But yeah, guys, this was so fun. I had a lot of fun making this album as well. And I'm happy that I was able to make one that's not like themed. It's not Christmas. It's not Valentine's Day. It's not a fall themed album. It's just an album you could pretty much use whenever. So I thought that was really fun. And I think everything turned out really cute. So I hope the recipient loves it as well. And that is it, guys. That's it for my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. And again, if you guys have any ideas for these cut aparts, like these teeny tiny ones, please let me know. And then these ones as well. These ones are a little bit bigger, but they're about two, they're two by two. Two, four, six, no, they're not. Um, they're two by one and a half. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for that, do let me know, please. But that is it, guys. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.